All right, gentlemen, you're in for a wild ride today because we're diving deep into the power of the mind and the impact it has on turning the gears of fortune and adversity. Imagine this. What if you committed wholeheartedly to enriching your life through the wisdom of books, embarking on an intense self-improvement journey, and diving into seven insightful reads over seven days? Well, I took on that very challenge, and the insights I've garnered are nothing short of transformative. Think of this as a knowledge marathon wherein each book is a leg of the journey toward a richer, more enlightened understanding of the world. Each book was devoured cover to cover within a day's span, distilling three potent sentences and extracting the crux of the wisdom within. By the end of our time together, you'll have gleaned some of the sharpest insights from approximately 40 hours of dedicated reading. Let's jump right into the fray with a story that encapsulates the very essence of perseverance through adversity. Picture Thomas Edison, at 67, returning home only to be met with his life's work up in flames. Yet, unfazed by the monumental loss he faced, he remained invigorated at the prospect of starting anew. What followed was not a tale of defeat, but rather a demonstration of an indomitable spirit that rebuilt from ashes and achieved astounding success. The takeaway? You define your reaction to life's infernos, either be consumed by the heat or rise like a phoenix reborn. But does an early bird truly catch the worm? We journey next into the concept of the 4AM club, exploring the unconventional methods to maximize productivity and knowledge absorption. It's about shaking off the mundane and finding creative pathways to stay engaged. Audiobooks and puzzles became my weapons of choice against monotonous stillness, transforming the task of reading into a dynamic interplay of listening and solving. As for tapping into the power of why, we unveil how leaders like Martin Luther King Jr. and visionaries like Steve Jobs were not bound by the what but propelled by the why. They challenged conventions, changing not just markets or nations but the world. Enter the realm of spiritual pursuit, and herein lies the gem that is the alchemist. This masterpiece narrates a shepherd's odyssey, a veritable hero's journey that elucidates life's profound truth. The universe aligns itself with those who have the clarity of their heart's desires. This beckons you to embrace your own nascent aspirations as undeniable duties to which you are bound, to seek and fulfill your personal legend. As we pivot to finance, the wisdom distilled from the psychology of money is that wealth accumulation isn't predicated on intellect but hinges on behavior. The narrative of a janitor who amassed millions through simple, disciplined investing starkly contrasts the brash bravado often associated with wealth, asserting that the silent power of meticulous money management can lead to staggering results. Beyond financial realm, how does one navigate the tumultuous waters of life? The laws of karma offer a compass, highlighting cause and effect as the silent arbiters of our experiences. Aligning actions with your best self-identity ensures that the ripples you create in the pond of life return as waves of positivity, sculpting a reality that's reflective of the best version of you. On the final leg of this intense intellectual escapade, Stoicism, through the venerated words of Marcus Aurelius, teaches us that while we can't aspire to control external forces, our internal stronghold remains impenetrable. It's about finding fulfillment, not through chasing happiness, but through the stoic acceptance of life's vicissitudes and committing to principled living. In the grand canvas of life, your strokes are your own to claim, and sometimes being misunderstood is a testament to your originality, as espoused by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Embrace the courage to evolve, to contradict your past selves, for growth and wisdom are often harvested from the soils of discomfort and change. And if you found value in this journey, then as Max Sterling, I invite you to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Imbue these insights into your life and witness your transformation unfold. Now, I pose this crucial query. What actions are you compelled to implement after marinating in this potpourri of wisdom? If any of these insights resonate and compel you to elevate your lifestyle, your investments, your personal finance strategies, or simply your mindset, I encourage you to consider showing your appreciation. Remember, the value you receive today could be the catalyst for your tomorrow. Stay relentless, stay learned, and until next time, wield the wisdom you've acquired today as your armor and weapon in life's arena. Imagine for a second, you're coasting the roller coaster of life, where ascending feels like a breeze, but what comes up must inevitably come down. That's the gravity of love. Now, we know falling head over heels happens as naturally as gravity pulls us earthward, but to sustain that euphoric state when gravity loses its novelty, now that's where real skill kicks in. And between you and me and I'm no love guru, just a guy who's weathered the ebbs and flows of relationships these next few golden nuggets I am about to share have the power to change the tide of your romantic ventures. 
settle in. Let's reshape your outlook on love, strengthen your current bond, or prep you for a love that's built to last and potentially spare you from the agony of heartache. Ready? Let's dive into a crash course on the less told truths of lasting love. First off, let's shatter a common myth. Relationships are not about giving 50%. That's playing it safe. Picture this, two kids in the neighborhood, one with a shiny collection of marbles, the other with a bag of tempting candy. They decide to trade. Both kids claim to be card-carrying members of the Fair Trade Association, yet one sneaky child pockets the prize marble not quite the picture of total commitment, right? It's that same half-hearted spirit that can doom a relationship. Here's the kicker, when it comes to love, you've got to be willing to swap all your marbles for candy, metaphorically speaking. It's all or nothing. A full hundred from both sides. Think about it, if you're guarded, clutching your favorite marbles, your doubts, fears, reservations your partner senses it, and the distance grows. Then, that oh, I should have been all in epiphany hits you when it's too little too late. In my own past, playing it safe meant stagnation not just in love, but life. So go all in, in love and life, and watch how things shift for you. You can't win the jackpot if you don't go all in the same goes for hearts. Now for the second truth, drop the stories. We all have them. Those nostalgic narratives playing on repeat in our heads, like a cinema dedicated to the one that got away. The thing is, sometimes these stories are like anchors, rooting us to a spot while life sails on. Take Bill from the phenomenal series, Asterisk Nathan for you. He's the consummate tale teller, holding onto a half-century-old love story. But when reality hits, it's a splash of cold water his flame from yesteryear doesn't even remember him. And here lies the crux. Don't let a narrative of what could have been chain you down. It's about dropping the story and liberating yourself because when you do that, you're primed for new adventures in love. So ask yourself, what ancient tales are you lugging around, and isn't it time to let them go? Third, it's about being right, not just finding Mr. or Mrs. Right. Here's some wisdom that borders on cliché but sticks like glue, like attracts like. If you're pining for a 10, ask yourself if you're bringing a 10 to the party. An honest self-evaluation can work wonders. Ever seen someone suddenly outgrow their partner? Growth is essential, but it's the matched pace that's key to keeping that connection. But remember, before you can welcome a 10 into your life, you must refine yourself, raise your bar, become the 10 you're after. From physical fitness to emotional security, the best investment you can make for your love life is the one you make in yourself. Speaking of self-investment, let's talk about becoming the strongest version of yourself. Interested in becoming that irresistible level 10? There's a way, and it doesn't require a magic potion or an ancient spell. It requires diving headfirst into the depths of personal development, chiseling out the best version of you. If this strikes a chord, imagine the possibilities when you align with someone who's done the same. Relationships aren't just about finding the right fit. They're about creating two individuals who are right for each other. Alright, savvy gentlemen, I'm about to wrap things up and leave you with some parting words. But before I do, if these insights have struck a chord with you, there's always more wisdom to unearth. Click subscribe, like, hit that notification bell you know the drill and join our tribe. Stand shoulder to shoulder with men who are rising, evolving, and conquering. Don't just dream about success in love and life, seize it. Now, as we close this chapter, I've got a question for you. Out of the lessons we talked about today, what are the moves you're going to make in the love department? Life's about taking action, not just amassing information. So ponder on that. And hey, if this video struck gold for you, consider leaving a tip in the digital jar. Your generosity fuels this journey we're on together. Stay strong, stay genuine, and remember life's too short for half measures, especially when it comes to love. Until next time.